here. What the hell are you doing? myself up here and you can take a seat right over there. Oh, you don't know how to be the DM. Alrighty then, well, take a seat right over there, my child, and I will explain to you exactly how to become a DM. Okay, first step to becoming a DM. Don't. Just, just don't. If you value your life and the semblance of, any semblance of doing what you want to do, besides D&D, then don't become a DM. Because f for the sake of running something in your life, like, this, be becoming a DM, just straight up, will ruin your life. Step two, become a college student. Now there are only two, there are only two people in this world People who become players and don't move on and, you know, could relax comfortably in their own lives. And then there's the people that want to go for a higher career and have to deal with consequences later. For the DM, it's unfortunately the latter. Ow. <laughs> okay, that, that actually hurt. Don't, don't, don't ever do that. As a DM, to get any idea of what you need to do, you need to pay for expensive books that I swear are more expensive than college textbooks to begin with. To which, much like college textbooks, you're, they're only additional resources you could use for the class. It's not necessarily the necessity. So after briefly reading the Cliff's notes on each of the books, Oh, you finally figure out you finally figured out all the rules and just a semblance of what a DM does for the game itself. You might want also to gather all the materials such as lighting, a film set in itself, makeups, props, food, whatever you need. And it's it's just so much more than that. Step three: majoring in creative writing. The most important job of the DM is that you are the game itself. The game does not exist without you. You have to think of every little micro detail of the adventure story, down to the NPCs, the villains, the items that your group finds, the places you go, and even the narrative theme of the story itself. Now, you can bypass this whole bit by buying a, an entirely different book. But you already know that the shit is expensive, and you don't want your poor wallet to bleed out again. Wallet. Wallet. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean... <laughs> I didn't mean to make you bleed again. <laughs> So instead of that, you basically write novels for assignments uh, in your writing classes, which basically force you to do the next step. Yeah, that's really it. If you're writing huge novels that are like 200 some odd pages long, which are due in a week, but you keep feeling that your words are not good enough, or you keep yourself awake at night just for the sole fact that your book could be raided in the middle of the night, you know, you keep working on it. As for trying to do anything else, you can't. You can't get this off your mind, and it, it's, it's the fact that you only had three pages done out of the 200 pages that are due, and this thing is like due tomorrow. So you basically have to tell everyone else to fuck off and let you finish uh, your novel for tomorrow. Hey, you wanna hang out later? No, fuck off, I have to do this thing. Oh. Do tomorrow. Oh, okay then. 
Step five, get yourself comfortable for class. Okay, so now it's finally game day. You gather the wings, the beer, and your bud, and you can finally relax knowing that while you run the game, everything will go as perfectly as you imagined it. Oh god, I have to do 15. <laughs> 15, boy. 12. Oh, oh no. Hey, boy. All right. Oh. Get ready to count. Okay. <laughs> Fifteen minutes later. What the fuck? Was that fifteen? <laughs> At least you were recording. What How many was that? Was that fifteen or I no? I wasn't know. really counting. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, you have I. You gave Canada too much power. <laughs> is, is he dead yet? <clears throat> what the fuck? What the fuck? So. Yeah, you're gonna constantly have mo like these moments happen. And you think that your mo novel has completely failed, because of course this is like the one if, like the only one if scenario that you didn't uh, predict f beforehand. However, not to fear, my friend, um, and take a, uh, take a lesson from Buck from Ice Age 3. Rule number five says you can ignore rule number two if there's a female involved. Or possibly a cute dog. You know, I just make up these rules as I go along. So, follow the advice of a crazed weasel, and as long as your story still flows uh, with what the players have done already, then there's really no harm and no foul to it. And finally, step six. Get to know your fellow classmates. Now, I'm sure that most of you are going to be playing D&D with your friends, and it's only going to be natural that they constantly keep doing steps up with step five many times over just to intentionally piss you off. But the biggest thing I have to take away from being a DM for the past seven years of my, of my existence is that making friends is the most important part of the game. Hell, Dungeons and Dragons in itself was just created by a group of nerds who wanted to create a fantasy adventure type game where they could basically do whatever the fuck they wanted to do for the story. And so Dungeons and Dragons is meant to be a fun escape for most people, including yours truly. So in order for the other steps I have already discussed to not be such a fucking pain in the ass, you simply have to talk to your players. Get to know their, their, their characters and their backstories and what they, what they want out of the story. And then you have to then in turn tell the players themselves, like, okay, this is how I want my novel to run, and so I'll work around all your characters and whatnot, so that you don't constantly keep doing step five so often. So even after you keep failing each assignment, because, trust me, you will. You can always take lessons from previous novels um, to make it better, to continue, it, to continue to get further to know your classmates, in which, you know, you'll be graduating with them at the same time. Yeah, so it's basically that. Buying the expensive books, uh, endlessly going through a schedule and whatnot, you know, just enjoying the core gameplay features by reading the books and everything, writing novels constantly over and over again. And, you know, the simplest fact is just making friends along the way and simply just, you know, talking to the people at the table so that, you know, your novel's not a complete fucking failure at this point. Because I've run it, I've read and written enough novels to know better, trust me. So, now that you know all that, I'm gonna move all my stuff out of the way here and let you do what you need to do. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, fuck, I'm not 